So let's proceed with another aspect uh, which is important is how to give movement orders to your troops. Um, I will show you uh, how to move a big stack or an individual unit. For example, I will select this uh, Hungarian SR uh, light cavalry here, uh, put it on the side, and I will take one uh, other unit here, make it separate, and assign him maybe a leader. Um, let's see, yeah, just to create another stack and so how do you move stack is uh, quite simple select it and select destination as you can see here next region here seven days to reach the number is written right below the stack and you can do um, a faster movement and you can drop the stack in each of the ensuing region each time you can see here in the small waypoint um, to uh, see how many days it takes to reach the region. A turn is 30 days and I can see Eugène can move through Verona, Cremona and uh, arrive at Mantua in 22 days. This is due to the fact that the big stack moves at the pace of the lowest, slowest unit, in our case the guns and the uh, supplies. They are very slow. If I take the light cavalry and drop it here, you can see it can reach the destination in four days, and I can even have him go rampaging around the things. As you can see, in the same duration uh, as then, he has done half of the map because, of course, it's a very fast uh, cavalry unit. As you can see, every time I move the unit. It will show different waypoints and show the different regions where it goes through. Uh, if I don't like a destination, I can either press suppress and it removes the last enter uh, destination, or I can uh, click on the waypoint and it will remove this destination, or I can even drop the unit onto itself and it cancels the whole movement. Another way also is to drop the unit directly at destination and then the engine will calculate the fastest and easier uh, way to reach the destination. So as you can see here, uh, it didn't make a big detour, it, sho it shows the shortest path and it's only 20 days or instead of 20. Um, and I can give orders to all my stack as I want. Uh, also, another point which is important to understand when moving stack is what we call the posture. This button on the left hand side of the stack uh, shows different postures. Usually, you have defensive blue, uh, red or orange are offensive or assault, which are very aggressive, uh, and you have uh, also passive, the green one, where you just do nothing. In defensive, you will fight only if attacked, and on the contrary, if you choose offensive for example you will be the one attacking whoever you fight unless of course the enemy uh, managed to uh, avoid you and uh, this is quite important because you might be surprised to go through uh, enemy stacks uh, unarmed and without buttons if both sides chose to ignore each other there won't be any button to be a, to to give a battle you need to want it uh, if i take my light Hussar cavalry. Uh, if I take defensive, I might be caught by other enemy. I can choose passive and then I will never attack. The goal being that I want to do some recon. And I can even go uh, as far as precising special orders whenever uh, taken in battles, in case this happens. Like I can retreat if engaged or on the contrary go and all at all cost. So if I take again my uh, Eugene stack, I will attack and remain in attack. I could do a very aggressive attack, but in that case, my uh, losses will be higher accordingly. 